So let's get back to the big story around the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, issuing a new or a review of the November 6, 2014 guidelines to banks as far as the standing lending facility window. Uh, the Central Bank is concerned, saying the uh, headline figure will now be 2 billion naira, one kaba above that will no, not attract any uh, interest rate, and that the MPC will decide what rate to be paid on those standing deposits made daily by the banks into the vault of the financial regulator. IOD Jebo is the CEO at, Af at Afrinvest Securities and is live to us from our studios at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. This is uh, taking the uh, credit expansion policy focus of the central bank into another gear, driving another nail into that. Is that how you see it, IOD Jebo? Good morning to the show. Uh, the real sector, uh, in terms of improved lending, uh, this looks um, more um, subtle in terms of uh, more realistic, like taking away that opportunity. So CBN have just seen that we've been giving you just interest on IDU funds. So it was reviewed last in 2014 um, to about 7.5 billion, and uh, taking that to 2 billion now means that about 5.5 billion that have been enjoying that interest. If you look at current, the current asymmetric corridor, minus 500 basis points, which is used to calculate as against the uh, NPR, which will come to around that 8.5%. Uh, they hand daily on um, funds that are placed. So standing lend, uh, deposit facility, funds are placed with, this, with the CBN. So um, yes, that's an income loss, but not that's significant. If you look at, if you analyze, look at what maybe the, a, a single bank may, may lose. For those that have excess funds, would be it's less than a billion in terms of income-wise. And uh, we feel that this uh, would, most of the banks to begin to look at short-term opportunities in terms of also lending, because uh, about five billion is now on the table for them that should earn a daily interest rate of about 8.5%. Um, this looks uh, to us, it looks um, more soft to com compared to the minimum uh, uh, lending uh, loan to deposit ratio that was set uh, by 60% loan to deposit ratio that was set by the, uh, by the CBN. So the, the other, what we feel that uh, CBN will also uh, consider going forward is also, is also to see that um, in terms of the treasury bills rate, so the risk-free rate and that the banks enjoy interest. Uh, though we feel this would impact on their income level, but it's not too significant because it's most of the tier one banks that have excess funds to place with the CBN. Okay, so uh, the central bank is also concerned that the tier two banks are always uh, net takers of, of, of money from the standing uh, lending facility. So this is also tightening the news around that window as well, isn't it? Closing the window just a little bit on them. Yes, I think um, that space would also become more attractive. So for some of the um, net players in terms of the tier one banks that have excess funds uh, and were not willing to take a risk in terms of advancing um, short term um, funding to some of the tier two banks, uh, they may begin to consider um, those opportunities. So it also makes funds maybe available and cheaper for the net takers, even in the interbank uh, window. So that may become more, uh, in terms of the activity, that may also improve. Just about a minute on your market where you of course, your day-to-day -day practice all about the, 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 the securities market, of course, which uh, includes both the, the, the equities and the debt side. Uh, stocks are still very slippery uh, on Custom Street, where you are. Any idea why this uh, very situation persists despite the listings within the last three months of two big telecom companies, MTN and Airtel Africa? Yes, if you look at the way our, our market is structured, the banking stocks account for close to 50% in terms of activity and provides in terms of liquidity. And we've been seeing regulatory pressures on, on the banks. Uh, most of the, especially the foreign portfolio investors, are 
trying to take early exit. Uh, the, no one knows the next policy. We, the CBN governor uh, inter that they will also see if uh, they would exclude maybe banks, try to limit their investment in treasury bills, which is a major income earners for the banks. So for most um, of the, especially the global uh, emerging fund market uh, players, for some of them are trying to uh, either cut their losses, reduce their exposure, especially within the banking space, which is uh, which forms a major sector where they buy in when they invest their funds. So for what we are seeing now, it's more of uh, investors trying to react to regulatory pressures on the banks and um, trying to just cut their losses. But we saw, especially you looked at GTB, and uh, two days ago, almost touched 26 naira within market, and we saw renewed interest. Yesterday, it closed up uh, yesterday. So we'll see investors that are willing to take uh, medium to long term um, opportunity. We'll look at stocks that still have a bit of strong fundamentals and buy into those stocks. Uh, we know that from uh, from next month, we'll be seeing, or before the end of this month, half, half year results. It's also a major um, catalyst that we may see if it's uh, beyond our, if it's um, beyond our expectation. But by and large, uh, we we feel we need major policies that will drive this market. Currently, it looks like there's no direction and everything is on standstill. Hi, Rudy Jebo. Thank you so much. The CEO at Afrinvest Securities. Thank you for your, for your time this morning.